Hi, this is Chris with Printistat, technical sales here. And what I'd like to go over with you today is using a MiFi box or other uh, internet box here to connect to a reference network using the Carlson Serve PC software. Okay, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to show you how to use your hotspot on your phone or just a dedicated hotspot here on how to get network corrections. Uh, so we're using uh, RT3, Carlson RT3 tablet here. And what I'd like to verify before we get into this um, is that we actually do have a connection with the Wi-Fi. All right, so we have a dedicated uh, MiFi hotspot here. I'm not connected to my phone, and we are connected, so make sure that's step one, uh, that you're connected to your hotspot or uh, your processes from now won't work. So um, we'll close these. We're still in our uh, Sir PC software. We're connected to a Carlson BRX7 right now. Um, so here you go, Carlson BRX7. So we're just going to go back to the RTK tab. And this would be the default, uh, What we're because we're running um, the hotspot. So what we have to do is pull down here to Data Collector Internet. And then we'll hit the hammer, in, uh, sorry, uh, wrench and sprockets here. So I found more and more people are using this type and instead of using the dedicated SIM card. Uh, both work well. Uh, I don't really have a preference. It's just what's ever available to you. Um, people who run, um, you know, just maybe just hitting control with these, I think a hotspot might be a better solution. Um, but people who are doing a lot of topo and, and stake out with it, I'd recommend a SIM card personally. Um, but uh, what's ever available it also makes that decision easier. Um, so we're already connected to the internet and we'll still just like you're connected to a SIM card uh, we have to go here into our NTRIP and so what we're going to use here is SmartNet NTA so um, SmartNet works great where we are so it's uh, IP address is pa.smartnetna for North America dot com port is 10,000 and that's our username and then our password. So uh, make sure you type these incorrectly because uh, it, it will not work unless they are. Um, and then well, sometimes I see people accidentally just do pa.smartnet and they forget the NA for North America. So be sure to uh, add that as well. So we'll just hit our green check. And what we're going to do is this is the best uh, mount point for us. Uh, but there's different ones depending on your needs. Uh, this MSM underscore IMAX uh, is found, we got the best performance with this with our Carlson BRX7. Uh, so we'll get the L5 and GLONASS as well and uh, Galileo. So um, just hit the green check to accept it. And SmartNet, there we go. And what I like to do is just send the, the settings from here to that receiver just do it one more time just to make sure everything's talking well and so this is the tilt calibration uh, that's just giving us a warning that it's not ready so we can't use the uh, tilt uh, compensation that the BRX7 can do for us um, but we'll do a video later on that going through that process so successful connection we're ready to go and then I'll just hit this green check we'll be able to go out in the field and start collecting some data. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Uh, but if you have more questions than what we covered here or uh, want to learn something else, uh, we'll have more videos in the future, or you can contact us directly. Uh, one, num one way is our phone number. It's 1-800-811-9889. Uh, you can also go to our website at printostat.com or you can even send uh, myself an email it's survey at printostat.com so thanks and uh, let me know if you have any questions